I'm still absolutely in love with Doris Day films and I'm often torn between whether I love her more serious, dramatic, dark and gritty roles, which are always fantastic, or her more light-hearted, musical, brightly coloured roles. And I can never decide the difference, but I do know that April in Paris, which is a comedy musical, a um, bit of a romance from 1952, is absolutely spectacular. So as I normally do with these reviews, I will read the description on IMDb, talk a little bit about the narrative. There will be no spoilers, absolutely spoiler free. And then we'll have a look at some of the cast and just other random thoughts. This is unscripted, so my thoughts may be scattered. So April in Paris is directed by David Butler and it's written by Jack Rose and Melville Shavelson. Shavelson? I'm sure somebody can correct me. And as I said, the reason I was drawn to this is because of the fabulous Doris Day. And she is our protagonist. And the description from IMDb is as follows. A series of misunderstandings leads to a chorus girl travelling to Paris to represent the American theatre, where she falls in love with a befuddled bureaucrat. The second part of that, where she falls in love with a befuddled bureaucrat, I have to say that that character is brilliant and works so well with, with Day's character, who plays Ethel. Um, but for me, it's the first part of that narrative that I love. It is so entertaining. So basically what happens, and you learn this very quickly in the film, this isn't a spoiler, is there are invitations sent out to two people called Ethel. One invitation was meant to be to invite her to... I don't know, perform at some cabaret or something. I can't remember the details. And the other was an official invitation to go to Paris to represent the US theatre. And the wrong Ethel got the invitation. And she's not what I would call a commoner by any stretch of the imagination, but she is not well-bred, high society, knows how to have the correct table manners. So obviously a lot of hilarity will take place when she's contrasting with these high society people but I won't say any more about that I don't want to tell you how it goes down I will just say it's probably what you expect but in a really great way so the narrative I think is is really good uh, as I said the romance aspect I don't really care too much about but it does provide a lot of the comedy it's very much I guess a musical rom-com in some ways what I love as well are the dancers and watching Doris Day perform, especially in the beginning when she's getting ready to leave the show that she's currently doing and everybody's celebrating her and she does this wonderful performance and she's so full of life and vivacious and utterly spectacular to watch on the screen. She is so captivating and I mean it's Doris Day, she always is, but in this particular film it's just spellbinding. It's ab absolutely beautiful performance and I really cannot fault this film. That's not to say that it's my favourite Doris Day film. It absolutely isn't. But really, when I kind of go through my checklist, the narrative was fantastic. The The editing aspect was pretty simple. You know, this is the 1950s. We haven't got colossal CGI explosions and SFX and things. But, you know, it, it runs smoothly. It feels um, very fluid. And the acting across the board is great. We have a really good mix of characters that really help drive the narrative forward. The show-stopping performances from Day are immaculate. She really has the most gorgeous smile. And I love the way her character reacts because it, it is a roller coaster ride for her and us uh, as a viewer when she finds out something and then something negative happens and then it's positive again and then negative and... You know, you never really know which way this film's going to go, but it's not choppy. It does feel like it goes from one one section to another without without really ever feeling like it's forced. So that is just fantastic. The I can't really remember the soundtrack, to be honest. It's not the most memorable. The, the musical performances are, but in terms of the additional music, sound effects, nothing really sticks out in my mind. And the setting all work really well and as I said day is fantastic so if you're looking for something that's quite fun and lively that will make you chuckle it's not you know stomach laughing but it's very fun and very entertaining and 
probably maybe my one of my top five Doris Day films. I'm not sure. It's too early to say that. If you haven't seen April in Paris, I completely recommend that you do.